Okay, so we're looking at today calculating perimeter. Um, it's pretty simple. The first lesson um, it asks you basic questions um, about length and width. Here we see a rectangle feel with length and width. There's going to be two lengths and two widths. All right, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. I'll show you the correct answers. Um, again, super simple, this first lesson. Here you use the slider, slide it all the way over to get to 300. Uh, perimeter. And lastly, you click on these three ones that show the perimeter. All right, this next one here uh, is given two formulas, length plus length plus width plus width, and two times length plus width. The simplest formula to write is here, but they both will give you the correct answer. Here you can see this is in the long formula form. Here it's in the short formula form. Okay, and now here we're going to actually need to open a calculator and show you this. So I have that down here. So it's looking at length is 20 and width is 10. So if you look at the formula, add length and width, length is 20 plus 10 is 30 times 2 is 60. So we'll just do it on the calculator really fast. 20 plus 10 times 2 is 60. All right, so it's going to ask you to keep doing this over, I think it's three times they ask you to do this. Eight times four, so it's clear there. Eight plus four times two equals 24. And then ask you one more time, but I'll leave that one to you guys to do. All right, now we're going to get to where we really want to be at, calculating the perimeter of a circle. Look at the circle. The distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is called the radius, R. So center of the circle to the edge of the circle. Multiply this distance by 2, then you have the diameter of the circle. The symbol pi represents the ratio between the circumference and the diameter of the circle. To calculate the circumference, use the formula circumference equals pi times diameter. So look at the circle. Can you calculate the circumference of a circle by only adding the lengths and widths? No, you cannot. It's a circle. In this circle, you can see a line. What does this line indicate? Well, it's the radius. It's from the center point to the outside diameter. Okay, click on the diameter of the circle in order to place the dimension next to the diagram. So here. Oh, sorry. So just click on it. I thought it was a click and drag. Oh well, let's move on. Just click on it and it slides out here so you can see the diameter to the side. Drag the diameter of the circle, the blue line, onto the circumference of the circle. Repeat this until there is no more space to position. So here is the click and drag. We're going to come and drag it on and put it on the circle. Put it on the circle and put it on the circle. So here we use three 
diameters, but we still have that little piece left. We use three. There's still a small section. And here we're going to rotate this out until we hit 0.14. And we see that little small section is now full. Okay, the full circumference of the circle is now covered. How many times in total? Well, 3.14 times. All of these, the diameter is going to take 3.14 times. And here we see pi. View the symbol pi and the value of this. In reality, there is an infinite number of decimal places. How big is this value if you round it off to two decimal places? So if you come here, this is 1, so we're going to round, so we see that it's 3.14. What is the relationship between pi and radius? Between the circumference and the diameter of the circle. All right, if you know the diameter of a circle, you can calculate the circumference. Which formula can you calculate the circumference? Well, circumference equals pi times diameter. And now this is the part that I want to work with you guys on. Um, you can go to this website here, calculator pi, um, calculatorpi.com. It's a good calculator online to use when you want to times by pi to give you the exact measurement that you're looking for. So what is the circumference of this circle? The diameter is 10 centimeters. So round off to the nearest two decimal places. So we need to click on here and we're going to times pi times 10, calculate, and we see here it's 31.415. All right, so let's go back. So we're at 31.415, but it says round off to the nearest decimal place. So we're going to go back and put 2. All right, so it gives us it as a correct answer. Now we're going to do one more, and I'll make you guys do the last one on your own. It says 12 centimeters. What is... Now I know one of these will come up with an R, so you're going to have to double this, let's see if the next one does it, but right here it's still the diameter, so it's pi times 12. So come back to your thing here, press clear. Pi times 12 and calculate. And we have 37.699. So we come back here. 37.699. But it says round to the nearest two. So we need to get rid of this and put 70. All right. So oh, here it is. So here's radius. So we need diameter. So what you're going to do is just double this to six. Okay, so hopefully you guys got that. That ends the lesson on calculating perimeter and the circumference of a circle. Uh, if you have more questions, ask me in class.